As coronavirus continues to sweep across America, leaders are trying to figure out the right balance between keeping people safe and keeping the economy moving, while the rest of us are trying to figure out if we can grow tomatoes by planting some ketchup. Spoiler alert, you can. And even though medical experts say it's still too soon to reopen the economy, a number of governors have announced that they're ready to start easing restrictions. For instance, in Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp has announced that businesses like gyms, hair salons, and bowling alleys are free to reopen by Friday. Yeah, I'm not a governor, but I'll be honest, this seems like a very strange decision. You know, bowling alleys? I feel like that should be the last place to reopen. You know, bowling, if you think about it, it's a sport based around sticking your fingers into a ball that other people just stuck their fingers into. You might as well tell people to join a competitive sneezing league. But while some are opening up their states, President Trump has announced that he's shutting down the border. In a 10 p.m. tweet last night, Trump declared that due to coronavirus, he's going to sign an executive order suspending all immigration into the United States. And my only question is, who is even immigrating right now? I don't even like going to the grocery store. You telling me there's other people out there who are like, hey, honey, uh, I'm gonna go to another country. Do you want me to grab anything for you? But this is a big step for Trump. Because remember, two-thirds of his wives have been immigrants, so closing the immigration system is Trump's version of deleting Tinder. And look, like most of Trump's tweets, we don't know how seriously to take this, but it obviously has some people alarmed because, after all, he is the president. Hashtag not my president because they didn't accept my ballots. And surprisingly, some of that alarm is even coming from the president's own advisors. Fox News. Many families here, including mine, we have au pairs and we rely on them. I go to work at three o'clock in the morning, so I need her there and I need her in my house so that she can help me with my daughter. So many families rely on childcare from other countries. These au pairs come here on work visas. They have to go back to their country to get the, the visas renewed. And we've been talking in my house about how that's going to happen. So these are all things, these are questions that we have that, that hopefully the president will roll out a plan and we'll all be um, informed on how this is gonna affect all of our lives. Okay, first of all, many families here do not have au pairs. In fact, 0.03% of families in America have au pairs. Yeah, you're more likely to have a show on Quibi than have an au pair. So look, instead of trying to act like this is an everyone thing, what she should really say is, damn, this new thing Trump did is really gonna affect me, so now I really care. Because this is what a lot of people do with President Trump. They're willing to tolerate him because his actions don't affect them personally. And this isn't unique to politics, please. People do this all the time. I mean, people, people even do it with jokes. Yes, oh my God, Nigerians are funny. <laughs> yeah, Indians, Indians do that all the time. <laughs> that is totally Brazil. Wait, what did you say about Russians? Uh, it, it was just another joke. Okay, I wait for you outside and then we make more jokes. Now, if President Trump goes through with this immigration ban, it'll be yet another policy he's pushing through during the corona pandemic. In fact, his administration has already shut down visa applications, they've paused the refugee program, they've blocked migrants from seeking asylum, and during corona, Trump's EPA even decided to drastically cut enforcement of environmental regulations. So, don't forget, while you're finally getting around to watching Ozark and trying to bake bread for the first time, Donald Trump, he's also using coronavirus as an opportunity to do all the things he always wanted to do. The only difference is when quarantine is over and you throw away your bowl of yeast, Trump's hobbies are gonna keep going for a very long time. Well, that's our show for tonight. Before we go though, with businesses closing and people losing their jobs all over the country, lots of people are struggling to find a meal right now. And you can help them by donating to Feeding America. They're supplying food to millions of Americans every single day, and they could really use your help. Even a dollar can get somebody a meal. Until tomorrow, stay safe out there, wash your hands, and remember, take temperature in a different hole every day just to spice things up. <laughs>